Hey guys, I'll show you how to create a button just like this so you can use it in your app in Android Studio. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is go all the way up to our project right here. And by the imports, we want to import this right here. But don't worry, I'll put it in the description so you can just easily copy and paste it. This will make sure that we get all the libraries and the functions for the button that we want to create. So let's get started. We're going to scroll all the way down. And we're just going to... Ooh, did I just delete something? Okay, that's my mistake. So we're just gonna go right here. We're just gonna make a composable. And as you know, a composable is basically telling Android Studio that we're gonna use Jet Compass UI. So it's making sure Android Studio takes note of that. We're also gonna show a preview. Hold on, let me put it on top. We're also gonna show a preview so we can basically see how our button looks like in real time. So after we do that, we're just gonna come here. We're gonna make a function. We're just gonna put button. I'll name the function button because I feel like it will just be easier to, you know, remember. So I'll just put function button. Matter of fact, let me just put button one so we don't get tripped up. So I'll put this right here and I got the curly braces right here. Okay, so now after we got our function right here, we're just gonna create our button. We're just gonna type button with a capital B, but an option like this should pop up already. So you're just gonna press it, enter. And now you have your button composable. But inside these curly braces, this is where you can put like, you can edit the name, how it looks and everything. So we're just gonna put a text composable in here. We're gonna put text. And inside, we're just gonna put, hello, just like that. That should be fine. And inside here, we're gonna put on click. So basically what this means is once we click the button, whatever we put inside this on click right here, it will basically do it. For example, if I had like a calculator and I put four plus five, that equals nine, right? So we'll just put four plus five and then the computer will basically just run it and it will show out nine. But that's just to show you an example. Of course, if you would want to do that, you have to do it a different way, but it will, all, it will always be inside on click. And as you can see right here, our button appears. Hold on, it's rendering. Let me cut to where it should. Oh, there it is. Our button is right here. And if you would like to import that into your function, you can just go right here into button theme. And then you can just put your function right here. You just put button. Just like that. We didn't have any parameters, parameters on ours. So that's why I didn't put anything. But if you wanted to, you can just put a little modifier. Put modifier, modifier, just like that. And that should be working. But just like that, we made a button in Android Studio. And if you would like to know how to put logic in it, I will make a video about that coming soon. But if you enjoyed this video, I have a lot of other tutorials on my page. Mass Programmer out.